Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Beans and Beast from this and other universes, and you are watching, you guessed it, WoW Films. And um, today I'm taking a quick look at the 4.0.1 PTR, um, because Fort Caven has finally been copied over. Um, you may immediately recognise, or realise, sorry, that I am Horde, um, which may be a little strange. That's because um, Blizzard wanted you to try out free... Um, faction changing services, so I changed Fort Haven into a female blood elf called Fort Haven S. And um, you'll also notice that I'm in Silvermoon and I'm on my Violet Protodric um, because you can currently use flying mounts in Azeroth, however, they um, they can't fly, they're, they're still a little intimidated and they can't get more than three feet off the ground. Um, so yeah, I just made this quick video to have a look at the basics, you know. Um, this is the new character screen. You can see that the stats have gone from the bottom, and they're now all the way down the other side. This is the spell book, and um, it shows you all of the new spells you'll be able to train, and when you'll be able to train them. Um, if you're a lower level, it'll say, for example, this spell at level there. You can see it says uh, Holy Radiation available from trainer at level 83. And also... Um, all of the spell ranks have gone, so you just train spell once and it automatically updates. Um, so I'm just trying to find the pattern in training because I'm not very not very good with Silver Moon. And um, but just so you know, I will make um, an independent video on uh, as many different classes as I can. But as you can see, look at all these uh, new spells that I can learn, so I'm just training all of them really. And um, I will make, as I said, a specific video about um, the Paladin class in particular. Um, but there is something interesting which I should note, which is mastery. And um, currently, I don't have mastery on any of my gear, which is sort of annoying, but um, oh well. And that was the new Holy Light. That's the new Flash of Light. Again, I will talk more about that in the new videos. Um, so, talent trees. You have probably read this already, but just for a recap, you'll pick one, and you will automatically get a spell. For example, if you pick Holy, um, you get Holy Shock, and that is at level 10. You then get a talent point every couple of levels, and each level you gain, you'll get either a talent point or a spell. And um, they go down. the talent trees go down to 31 points. And... Um, once you've spent 31 points in that tree, you can then advance onto another tree, and uh, at this point in time you only have a couple of turn points to spend. Um, and so this is just me very quickly um, doing my uh, holy spec, and um, obviously when it comes to uh, being released on the live realms I will take a little bit more time, uh, a little bit more time on this. Um, a couple of new spells for holy, um, Again, I will remind you, because people seem to forget, um, that I will do an independent video, but there are three three new spells, I believe. One, two, about, about three-ish. Th three, three proper spells. Um, something you might also notice is that if you're a paladin, your um, blessings, you only have two blessings, blessings of, blessing of might and blessing of kings. The new blessing of might also gives the benefit of the old blessing of wisdom. Um, which is kind of cool, and they're raid wide, so there's no class wide buffs. Um, this is just my retro spec, as you can see, for choosing retro as my spec, I gained the ability of uh, Templar's Verdict, um, or something like that, which, which is kind of cool. And um, there's also the new Paladin Holy Power. Again, I will talk about that at another time. Also, if you want any, if you want to ask me anything about the PTR, if you're not in the PTR yet, um, then just post it in the comment section. I will try my best to answer. Um, so yeah, flying mounts. You cannot yet actually fly in Azeroth. Um, Azeroth has not been given a makeover by Deathwing yet. It's not sundered or anything. Um, the new talents are here. You cannot get to level 85, goblins and morgans are not available, can't get archaeology, can't go into the new zones, no new achievements. Um, and I believe that's it for now. Um, 
Blizzard have stated that they will increase the speed of all mounts to either 310, 280 or 100% speed depending on which mount you've got. So for example if you're level 40 and you've just trained um, artisan riding, your level 20 mount will, will scale to 100% speed, so a little bit like um, the Celestial Steed in live. And this mount that I'm on here goes at 280% speed, that's a glitch, because I've got the Violet Proto Drake, it should be going at uh, 310, but it is the level 60 mount, so it normally would go at 150 and now it goes at 280. Um, if you don't already have a 310 mount, then you have to buy it for like 4k, and um, I hope Blizzard fix it so that the people that have worked hard for their 310 mounts um, don't have to buy it again. Um, for some reason I'm taking a little more time on my uh, retro spec. Um, don't know why, I was probably just being slow. Um, and uh, here I'm going to show you a couple of the um, main changes for uh, each class. Now, each class has been enormously uh, changed in almost all aspects. You can see here I've just got a speed increase for casting my judgement above a certain range. And um, I know my um, my uh, I know that my um, what you call it. I'm not using all of my spells. For example, I'm not using um, consecration, and I'm not using everything else. And I'm just sorting out my action bars here because there are a lot of new spells. They have a lot of new meanings. And you'll see on the side there. This is uh, Blizzard's version of a very popular add-on, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically warning you when something procs. So, for example, um, if you get... Uh, it's probably not actually true, but if you get a free... Ar uh, let's pretend that you get a free arcane missiles when you get a crit with an arcane bolt. If you get a crit with an arcane bolt and you're a mage, then something like that will pop up. And um, that in specific... That, that specifically is... Um, telling me that um, I can get an instant cast exorcism on the target. Um, so that that's pretty cool. And um, there are also a couple of new resources. There's um, there's uh, Focus for Hunters, there's Holy Power for Panties, and there, which you can see in the top left actually, and there is uh, Soul Shards for Warlocks. And again, I will make a video about um, Hunters new resource, although at the moment it's looking quite OP because they can one-shot level 1 mobs. Um, so again, I just thought I'd take another quick look at the stats and the character screen. Um, as you can see, the only places where I've actually got spell power at the moment in my healing gear is um, in socket bonuses, not sockets, socket bonuses, and on my weapon. All the rest has been transferred into intellect, and it has resulted in my mana being increased by 25%, sorry, 20%, um, which is kind of cool. Um, and believe you me, I can go on healing for a very long time now. Uh, otherwise, all of my gear is the same. So basically, uh, all defense has been turned into stamina, all attack power has been turned into strength, all spell power has been turned into intellect, but you can read all about that on the Blizzard forums. And um, again... I have been prompted to change 4K Vanessa's uh, race, so I was like, yeah, sure. And this is a dwarf wearing the Horde tier 9 gear, right? Okay, um, so the new one, Dwarfy, the, the newest version of 4K Um And for some stupid reason, I couldn't change change my race until, um, look, until, until I've got rid of all my mail, so, um, you know. But basically, as you can see there on the right, two of my characters have got uh, Alliance Horde emblems near them. Um, that basically means that there's a race change available, or a faction change, um, which is uh, kind of cool. And you just click on it. So here we go. I finally managed to create him. Now he has got the correct tier 9 gear on, um, which is also kind of nice. <laughs> um, about the new justice points as well, the new justice points have been implemented. Um, at this moment in time... Tier 10 shoulder pads cost two, sorry, 684 justice points, which is approximately um, 250 emblems of Triumph or Frost in total. So if you've got 150 emblems of Triumph and 150 Frost, sorry, 150 Triumph and 100 Frost, you'll have approximately enough. Um, so basically 200 in 
200 in total. Um, this is me flying around. For some reason, uh, my uh, Violet Proto Drake is only going at 280. There you can see. Look, this is kind of interesting. You can see um, Ice Crown and everything from Dalaran. The uh, the distance that you can see things at has been greatly increased. Also, as you'll notice, which I mentioned before, my level 60 150 speed mount is going at 280% speed. Brilliant, because now I don't need to pay many, many thousands of gold to buy the 280% CM. That's just Light of Dawn, a new pally healing spell. Um, and I'm, I'm just showing you a couple of the healing spells now. That's Holy Light, that's the go to heal. And this is Holy Shock. That thing there. Uh, meant that I could cast Holy Shock without its cooldown. Now, um, I'm just going to do my Warlock spec very quickly, or not, as it would seem, because my talents aren't popping up. Um, but I'm just going to show you a couple of the new pet commands, because um, as of, well, now, um, the Warlocks will be able to get their Fail Guard at level 10 if they spec into Demonology. And so that is just what I'm going to do. I'm going to spec into Demonology, and I'm going to get my Felguard right now. Um, just showing you a couple of things. Um, this is Salmon, which no longer costs Soul Shards. As you can see in the top left, my uh, Soul Shards, I've got three Soul Shards, none of which are open at the moment. So um, for specking into Demonology, I've just got my Felguard spell. Um, and now I'm just choosing my talents. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, so just bear with me while I do this for a second. And then I'll show you some of the uh, new pet abilities. One of the main things is for warlocks that pets no longer cost soul shards. And also that they've got the move to ability. Now, um, this is a warlock that I transferred from live servers. He's level 29. I got him to level 12, and then I got my recruiter friend friend to grant him levels until level 29. Um, I'll put it that way. So I don't have a level 50 warlock. I don't know whether any of these abilities existed before, but that's move to on a warlock pet. Um, it basically tells your pet to go somewhere. This is another one for the fell guard. It's a bit like whirlwind, and um, as it turns out, he actually can. Uh, use that while he's moving and that throws his axe at someone which stuns them for four seconds and um, then if I do this on that little fellow there when he dies I gain all three soul shards to be honest I have no idea how soul shards work yet but as before I will um, explain all explain all later um, there's just some rain of fire for the cool effect uh, AoE damage has been significantly reduced. Um, just a quick look at the honor page. This is um, Conquest, which is a new feature that I just saw today. It's um, rated battlegrounds, but as it turns out, you need someone in your group, so I can't go into a rated battleground at the moment. Um, so, for example, you need a friend or two, um, and then you can actually go into a rated battlegrounds, a little like you would a rated arena, um, only you've obviously still got to win to gain points. Um, this is my arena team. You just this is uh, one for Homer Simpson, a nice donut in the middle there. Um, but obviously it doesn't work because I haven't actually got an arena team as of the PTR. Um, and then just uh, the normal battlegrounds. Um, yeah, and um, again I'm just seeing how long I can heal for. Uh, what's a little disturbing is that the uh, new Paladin go-to healing spell, Holy Light, is a 2.23 second cast time, which is a little bit annoying. But as it turns out, I can, without using any, you know, mana restoration things like Divine Plea, and no buffs or anything, just plain casting uh, Holy Light with the procs from my talents. I can heal about. I can cast it about forty-five times, and lose about ten percent mana. And um, obviously, if you've thrown a couple of other healing abilities, it is going to cost more. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Keep your eye out for my class-specific reviews, um, which will be coming out soon-ish. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.